by train, by bus, by subway. However they traveled, in 2008, Americans took a record 10.7 billion trips on public transportation. That's the highest ridership level in 52 years. According to the American Public Transportation Association, overall ridership increased 4% compared to 2007. At the same time, people drove less. The number of miles driven in 2008 dropped 3.6%, according to the Department of Transportation. Americans started using public transportation more when gasoline prices hit record highs in the summer. And when those prices plunged last fall as the nation's economy fell deeper into recession, Americans kept riding buses and trains as a way to save money. Could this be the start of the end of the nation's love affair with the car? Probably not. The average price of a gallon of gasoline has hovered just under $2 for several weeks. And with those sustained, cheaper prices, Americans are starting to drive more. Demand is up more than 2% compared to a year ago. With the Money Minute, I'm Charlie Herman, ABC News, New York.